All right, chat, we are back. Um, we got the Monolith W and we're gonna decide what to do with that run. Um, probably gonna uh, respec into uh, Goblin City attempt as well. You know, try and get the full Conqueror set. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we're gonna get something new going. I, I really wanted to um, finish shooting my first 20, first 20 days Raiders. Um, and I also want to do some work on um, playing Catals, trying to get better at working with uh, lower quality bros to achieve results. Um, and I know the Catal meta is the answer to that. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, we're getting ready to do our first 20 days Raiders. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the, I appreciate it. It was a sketchy, a sketchy one there. Tutu Fay, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a hard fight. Um, and it wasn't perfect. You know, a few minutes before we went in there, I was like, man, I'm missing a potion on my tank. <laughs> I'm missing a potion on my tank. And that almost cost me the fight. So it, that fight is as much about preparedness and positioning as it is about the strength of your bros. So people will be watching the 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 fights leading up to Monolith and they're like, man, you're crushing everything. And then you go to Monolith and like Monoliths can go bad very quickly. And it's like, but your bros are so strong. And it's like, it doesn't matter, <laughs> you know? Um, and I didn't express how freaked out I was. But when my tank went down on turn five, I was like, oh, we're about to wipe. Cause the, the tank needs to hold to about turn nine to, to keep that fight clean, a nine or better. And it was like five, I was like, oh God. <laughs> um, but that was on us for not having a potion. Like not, not only did we not have the potion, we also did not have, <laughs> Did not have steel brow, which was just like the savants just teed off on him. I also think that the the forge throwers might have been too too strong. the The savants did not seem very interested in our battle forge throwers chat. Like the savants kind of noped out of that, which surprised me. Like the savants were like, "Yeah, so we're not even gonna try." <laughs> You know what I mean? Which kind of messed it up because I, I couldn't, con I, I lost the ability to predict where the savants were gonna go, which is like an unintended side effect of making my backliners harder into savants, right? All right. So we're going to start a Raiders run today and try and get through most of the very early game. Um, a couple things about Raiders. So Raiders, it's it's one of my favorite origins. Um, the trick is um, on a good seed, <laughs> on a good seed, right? Raiders is probably easier than New Company. On a bad seed, Raiders is potentially the the hardest or the second hardest origin on the game um raiders and i think one other origin are very very sensitive to what's going on on your map and I, i'll talk about that when i fire it up now i do have a play loop to help you in this in a situation where you get a, a bad map because again we don't we don't re-roll maps on this channel we try to win them all so i'll, I'll talk through that but let's just dive into it and uh, see what we get here Where's our rating banner chat? Here's our rating banner. All right. Um, something you can do if you're newer to Raiders to make the, the run a little bit easier is you can select nobles at war. In general, any origin, if you select this as your first crisis, you can make it significantly easier. Um, I don't, but it's definitely a thing you can do um, it's definitely how I played it back in the day when I was first learning the origin. 
All right, expert, expert, low, random seed. That looks like a good random jumble of letters. Um, whenever we have fire up a new run, this is my disclaimer. I do not check the Iron Man box because I use quality of life mods. And sometimes that causes multicolored pixels to crash your run. Um, but we play Iron Man in spirit. If a bro dies, he's dead. If I misclick, I didn't messed up. That's how it goes. Um, there's no rerolling for terrain, none of that stuff, right? The only time literally we're ever allowed to, to exit a game is if there's some type of glitch that either freezes the game or if we have to re prevent a corrupted save. All right, let's do it. And I had started this the other day at the end of the other, the other first 20 series. And like it was, <laughs> we had been streaming for I think twelve hours. I think I just got tired, so it's nice to to actually be able to do this fresh and uh, get through it. All right. So when you first queue into your your raider seed, there are two things that you want to check on your global map. One, you want to check, you want to find a safe path to get south, right? and you want to figure out where you want to land, right? So I think this one, if I'm careful coming through these woods, I can probably come out through here, cut down through the wilds and go south this way and land in an area where I'm going to have contracts. The Citadel is obviously out of play until we do the ambition, but these three towns, is this a... Yeah, this, these three towns should have contracts for us to get started. The other thing I want to check for is my, tr or I want to check for my trade buildings. That's what determines what you're getting out of carts, out of the wagons you're hitting. So for example, this is a trapper. So wagons from this town should drop furs as loot, right? Which means that there's value in hitting these wagons. Same thing with this salt mine over here. Gatherer's hut, this is gonna have uh, primarily berries. <laughs> uh, we don't know what this is. I could like scroll over the ruins, try to figure out what it is, but I'm not gonna bother. Um, no lumber camp here. Carts from this town are likely not to be very valuable. Zoom in over here. This is a peat pit, so low value trade goods, but this will have trade goods. So this town's gonna, the carts are gonna give me fish. They're gonna give me medical supplies, right? The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to understand how valuable, how profitable rating is gonna be. Sometimes you queue into a seed and there's just nothing, chat. Um, and this does happen. Or all of your valuable buildings are so far away that you're not gonna be able to hit those wagons early game. In which case, there's a different play loop that you wanna go to. Um, that's go, that's walk south and never, and never look back, right? Um, is the short answer. All right. If there's a third thing I'm looking for, I'm trying to see if I have a Southern Hunter's Cabin. It just makes recruiting my range units a lot easier. I don't think I do. Yep, yep, fishing huts. Lots of nets, that's a good thing. Okay, I don't have a Southern Hunter's Cabin, right? So that just tells me I'm using I'm probably, is this a forest town? Nope. So that's telling me that I'm probably recruiting range nomads as my like primary range backliner. All good stuff. All right. Now let's try not to die on our walks out. So here's how we do this. Um, so first of all, use this monk as ambush protection on your walk south. 
Um, if something jumps you and you can't get away, it's always better to trade this guy versus one of your barbarians. All right. Barbs, usually very good. Um, these appear to be very good barbs, so no complaints. Um, as we play the run further on, because I am going to continue the run after this stream, we're going to keep going with this one. Um, I'll go into more about how I'm building them. Regardless of how you're building these, you just want to make sure that you're getting off a of death door, right? HP keeps individuals alive. Resolve keeps your team alive. Remember that chat? Okay. My target for resolve on frontliners is is 50, uh, 50 ish is where I want to be. Want to get these guys over about 80 or so HP early. These two, I'm going to build the same. This guy, um, we're gonna build him to be a Catal bro. So this is our first damage dealer of the bunch. Something, something you'll see me doing this run that I don't normally do. Typically I build a bunch of generalists um, this run, I'm going to be building, I'm going to be trying to play in a more specialized way. So you'll see a pretty clear separation between my damage dealers and my, my defense bros. It's also going to force me to play my fights um, <laughs> quite a bit better. All right. And then this guy, the first time we fight, he'll be basically a dog and bandage duelist. All right, let's walk south very slowly, very carefully. Um, you don't really want to be fighting wagons. You can try a five stack. It's a little dangerous, especially if you're trying not to reroll. We might be a little too close to this tower down here. And we want to be careful with these woods. But again, we have like essentially an extra life, right? Because we have the monk blocking for us. But notice I'm playing very, very, very zoomed in. And I'm being very careful in this walk.
careful with this orc camp, something might pop out. So like, this is an eight stack wagon, right? Um, this is way too much to try and take um, before you get your team set up. Um, even a five stack would be would be interesting. I'd have to question it, right? Um, you can do the five stacks if you build your, your raiders a little bit differently. Like you try to do some early game adrenaline shenanigans. Um, I, I'm building my raiders for a different style of play. So I don't want to be taking adrenaline, um, but it is a thing you can do. It does work very well. If you take adrenaline, run, hire like two bros, and then try and start smashing the smaller wagons. The trick is, is you can't predict the size of wagon that's going to come out of the town. And the eights with two to three guards are very different than the fives with no guards, right? Yeah, they're, they're very harsh in the start. Guards, pound for pound, stat for stat, are stronger than raiders. Especially lower raiders. Okay. Um, so step one, right? Make it make it south. Um, I think we, we successfully did that, right? Um, probably don't want to sell here, but what I am looking for are recruits that, that interest me. Um, and I'm also looking for plus accuracy weapons. Those are always valuable, especially cheap ones. I also like a cheap shield. What contract is this? Definitely not doing a caravan. Caravans have a habit of wanting to go somewhere you don't want them to go on this origin anyway. Um, this Citadel or this tier three town are probably good sell spots for us. Again, walking at one X speed through the woods. This is bait. Don't click this at the as your first ambition as raiders. Uh, you, again, you're not strong enough to fight the three or so sizes of regular caravans um you could maybe start picking out the five stacks right away maybe but even then it's there they can be pretty high risk depending on the weapons um you're gonna treat this part more like the uh the normal start to a run Whoa. Big Nacho. <laughs> All right. We call we call those Nacho Supremes here. Um, all right. I see a cheap peddler that catches my eye. A relatively cheap Miller. This is the stat range for Millers, by the way. So we don't use tryout mod or anything like that here. Not that there's anything wrong if you do, um, but I do use the background and attributes mod so I can see what a class is capable of, of rolling. Yeah, those nachos cost extra, <laughs> extra bros. Um, so I, I see, see a, two things that catch my eye, right? I like rolling on these looking for early, early defense bros. Um, peddlers have very, very good de defense potential for lowborns. Um, and millers tend to just be all around solid rolls. So 
Let's see what our items are selling for. This looks good to me. Let's do it. And let's try us a peddler. Let's try us a miller. Um. <laughs> wow. Eh. Math check. Twenty twenty five. 30, 35, like way too low, right? Even even if you lash him after drunkard, right? That that means he basically rolled a 42. Um, he does have seven base defense. Um, this looks like a guy who's just gonna hold a shield and die for value. This guy, um, again, looks like a dies for value kind of bro, which is fine. They can't all be winners, chat. Let's see what else we have here. Um, Is this monk actually ever going to be able to hit anything? With the plus accuracy weapon, he might do something in the thugs. So this is this is fine. This is also fine. And then we'll we'll push over to the next town. Like I don't even. This guy isn't even worth a plus accuracy weapon. Like he's he. This guy's never gonna hit anything ever, right? Um. I mean, a spear gets him into, is a takes him to effective fifty eight, which I guess is okay. Get this knife on somebody. And we are gonna want some very cheap hats if we can find them. Thirty five is fairly cheap. 50 is not cheap. It's better than getting to the next town and there's no hat. The reason why we're buying the hats is, although I don't care a whole bunch about these guys, um, I also don't want them to die for no reason, right? All right, let's push on to the next town. And hopefully this town has a, our, some type of guaranteed fight contract. Talking about the map, um, so something you can think about doing too. So I like the idea of playing up here right because occasionally wagons will make it into here hostile wagons and you'll be able to hit them and it's just kind of free fights that come to you sometimes you get you it gets you get really lucky and there's a tier three city here a three contract city and two or three towns with good loot feeding into that that have that run by here as a route and the wagons just get fed to you while you're doing contracts that does happen um, not so much this run because this is a very small town, but we could see some activity here with, you know, patrol towers and that type of thing, preventing the wagons from being eaten. All right, let's see what we got here. Follow the tracks. I am going to take that quest. I just want to see what I have in town as for resources. Let's 
see what we have for gear. So I do have hats. Um, I do have shields. So I think before I go do that, I'll, I'll take another hire. Probably another miller. Um, I tend not to roll on farmers early um, just because they, they can have very, very bad resolve rolls. Um, they will get your team killed. <laughs> they will fail resolve checks. They will drop to, to fleeing, which then causes a resolve check on your entire team and you will wipe. The farmer himself may not die. They have incredible, incredible HP. Um, but I tend not to roll on resolve challenge backgrounds early. I actually like rolling on these a lot more mid and late game. Um, late game, these things can just be absolutely incredible. Um, they're fairly cheap. You can roll on tons of them to try and high roll. And if they high roll, good Lord, <laughs> right? But you don't want to be taking those types of risks early game. Uh, we will we'll roll on us another Miller. Check for titles. There are two of them here. All right, we'll roll on this one. Um, This is a very reasonable defense, bro, actually. Uh, this could be... Yeah, this could be an early nimble tank. I like it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, since I have an early nimble tank, oh, I got one that's 105, even better, on sale. I'm actually going to put him in the back somewhere. Um, I want him to, to gain a level or two before I stick him up front. And this will be our loadout for our first fight. A southeast, let's go. All right, um, so the first thing we always do in the seven thug fight uh, we treat this one, we take this one very seriously, right? Um, we're trying not to chain reroll or anything, so we want to make sure we win this. Um, the seven thug fight is actually, like your first seven thug fight is actually one of the hardest in the game um, because you don't have the, the same tools that you have later in the game, right? Like if you ever played XCOM, it's very similar to the, or XCOM 2, it's very similar to that first mission when you turn it up to max difficulty is literally just one of the hardest missions in the game to do cleanly. So that said, um, dangerous weapons. I see one plus accuracy weapon. I see two plus accuracy weapons, right? That I care about. Flails are plus accuracy weapons in the sense that they avoid shields. Um, and then sword is just raw plus accuracy. I see a high damage weapon. Um, so these are the three things that I need to keep my eyes on this fight. As always, we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is kite back. Because I don't have any ranged units, I'm actually going to back first and end my turn immediately because initiative is gonna be very important in this fight. If I'm, waiting is one of the strongest things you can be doing in Battle Brothers. In this case, I wanna make sure that when we open on them, we're going first. If possible, across the board, right? There's a universe where I like want to run down here and try and play with some high ground. Um, I don't necessarily know if I make it, though, especially with one guy who's a little bit slower.
So now I want to wait all. Because of how they moved. Like, I think they moved in a way that lines up reasonable for us. Okay. So let's think about this. Um, if we want to, we can try and blow up this axe, which is very tempting. I'm exposing this guy to a pretty bad spot. We don't care about him very much, right? If we place this guy here, he probably dies, right? But he's, out of all of our hires, the least value, valuable one. Um, but blowing up this long ax seems pretty good to me. Alternatively, um, we could not do that. We could spear wall and then try and kill this ax with, with our other bros. Um, I feel like this guarantees I kill the ax. That to me seems more valuable. Check our chance to hit. Um, this guy probably just needs to, probably just needs to shield wall. A sins with the raid. How's everything going? How are you living? Caravan hands took fearsome again. Oh, Lord. It happens. I will use the dog pretty aggressively on this origin to help control things. I just want to move him to a relatively safe tile. Again, he's unarmored. If anything gets on him, he's dead. Okay. So again, this guy might die. Like he might just headshot, headshot and kill him. Um, that could happen. Hopefully this guy steps into this three tile concave we've created, baited by hitting this guy. Nope. Too smart for us. good deal and a poke all right um what's dangerous that's left this sword that's left here is, is pretty bad uh we also have a 2 on one on one of our one of our raiders one of our barbarians and that's a that's a thing of concern as well i can be pretty aggressive about moving to protect my raider just because nothing is getting away with the dog on the board anyway. This is more dangerous. This is easier to kill. Decisions and priorities chat. Um, I definitely don't want a shield wall here. I would hope that the, the enemy would want to attack here, but I, I believe just we have lower defense here. So he's going to want to attack here regardless. So just poke, poke. Okay. Something great that can come of this fight would be this flail. That would be really, really good if we get it. Um, you guys have seen in previous runs how we abuse flails early game heck and mid game heck and late game <laughs> we, we abuse flails here chat that's that's what i'm trying to say all right oh uh, we got the flail got some armor upgrades got a plus accuracy weapon got pocket shields for our guys all good stuff So what happened? We just lost to resolve checks. Yeah, that, that happens. 
Um, let's get better headgear on a triple five percent versus car. Oh, that's awful. Um, this guy actually isn't worth the medical supplies to keep alive. <laughs> like. I also am not in a hurry to be to be putting um, XP on him. I'd rather hire somebody else. Um, I think it's just an easy dismiss. I wish he had gotten struck down. That would have been great. So I can unlock the drill. <laughs> Don't do Espen like that. <laughs> Espen gotta go. Sorry, Espen. This monk is is on the chopping block too, guys. Like, if I find anything that remotely resembles a better banner in the near future, this guy is gonna get bags and belts at like level two and sit on the bench and be a, a mule for the rest of the run. Uh, pocket shields for our guys. Homie was ready to kill for me. Homie was ready to kill for that paycheck. These dudes ain't working for free. <laughs> Don't hit me with that. All right. Um. There, there's a cheap caravan hand here that I'm very, very interested in. Uh, we just can't afford it yet. Let's see what else we have here for quests. Where's it going? It's actually going south. I, I don't like early caravans. Um, the, the, let's see, Grottenhaven, Grottenhaven. Um, this is a town that I wouldn't mind visiting. I could even cut across here looking for potentially a thug mansion to hit. So I'm okay with that. See if we're selling anything else here. Offload this stuff. Yeah, all that, all that seems fine. So I won't take the caravan. I want to go ahead and dismiss it. And I will take the package delivery. Hmm. So there's two schools of thought. I could stay on the road or I could cross through here trying to see what I can see. I like the idea of hitting a patrol if possible. I also want to check this town and see what's here. As soon as this guy gets like a level or two, he's going to get a shield and go to the front. Uh, the monk isn't worth investing in a better uh, reach weapon for. This miller is interesting. Let's see what this is. Whew. That's our big nacho friend from earlier. I'm good. If I could trust that I wouldn't miss every single attempt to stun that thing with a club. Like I fought those early before. Um, interesting. A few guards.
So we have to make a judgment call if we're strong enough to do this fight. Um, I think I think I want my guys, like I think I want my supporting cast to have another level. It's not so much the even the um, the barbarians at this point. It's the supporting cast. I want to make sure I'm not losing guys fighting wagons. Because this is effectively a, a six on six. So this is, if I think about it like four thugs and two raiders, do I still take the fight? Right? I think I, I think I run back and try and hire a, whoa. Interesting. There's a guaranteed tier two. Again, I'm just not interested in, in that yet. I think it's better to play it careful. One of the hardest things in Battle Brothers is dialing in how strong you are, right? The, the most dangerous something is, is going to be in a, in a run is gonna be the first time you fight it, right? Like, and if you think about like, for example, I don't know how many people have actually seen a, a boxing match, right? At the beginning of the match, the boxers are kind of throwing jabs to find their distance, to figure out what'll land and what won't before they, they go all in, right? It's a lot like that when you're trying to find like what you can handle and what you can't. And so if you don't lose your first fight to Raiders, you're probably not wiping to Raiders that run. If you don't lose your first large orc camp, you're probably not wiping to orcs that run, that type of thing. But being very careful about when you call that shot, I think is important. There's a brawler, there's a cheap caravan hand. Let's see what we have going on for contracts here. Uh, find the thing, no thank you. Worn down fortress, sure. See what we have for guys here. That's a cheap gambler. Gamblers can be very good. That's a net with legs. This is a brawler. That's insanely cheap militia. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Well, let's start here. Yeah. Um, he could be, um, his base role. Don't let the stars fool you. His base role is, is bad. His base role is really bad. Um, so you think, right? So three stars, he's rolling essentially what? Straight, straight fours? Or I guess it's, it's 4.5. He's rolling straight fives. Okay. So five times, five times 10. Five times 11 if his gifted roll goes into it. Um, so it's like plus 59. Maybe 100. Yeah, I mean, he could do the job. Um, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about fixing my front line, but... I, I do think that as a
Yeah, I mean, he's he's obviously a better banner than what we have, right? Like, he's obviously a better banner than what we have in terms of being able to actually deal some kind of damage, right? I could get behind that. Um, so if our formation looks like this, right? Where's that shield? Oh, oops. Right? This guy comes in, and then the monk either gets benched or fired, right? Um, I think, and I see what you're saying, right? But I'm also looking at, he has 12 defense, right? Like... I'm looking at the fact that he's probably a tick better than this guy on the front line, right? Like this is gonna be 32. Like this is a great shield mace bro or something like that. Like we have a temporary banner already, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do chat. We're gonna run it. We're gonna run it like this, right? Like, we'll run it like this, and then we'll see, we'll kind of see where the, where the hires pan out and go from there. Right, because we don't have to commit just yet. Tools are insanely expensive. We can't buy any yet. We can let this go. Um, I like having nets to make sure we win this fight. I also like putting this flail on somebody. Although we can't repair it. Yeah. Um, but the nets are pretty good. And I may even make a small investment to try and keep this, give this, keep this guy alive. This is expensive. That's costly, chat. This costs a little too much. Maybe if he was a premium defense bro, I'd work harder to keep him alive. He He's not, not worth the extra. All right, let's find our target. It's over here. How are you on food? 15 per day. I could also be more aggressive about nets. Just in case we go over there and the fight is like big spook, let's uh let's let's double down on that. Like if it's a bunch of thugs, cool, but if it's not. I mean either way, a great hire for 270, right? Um, this is probably four, four or five raiders. So this is nets on. And I'll do you one better. They're, they're telegraphing throwing weapons too. <laughs> like that feels pretty terrible. Because if they didn't have throwing weapons, they would run straight at us. Interesting. They could also be trying to set up on this weapon, but this feels like throwing it up. All 
I synced it before, chat. I synced it before. Mass throwing weapons. That's just sick. It's like the worst possible scenario. I'm going to have to sacrifice somebody so that we don't die to these. Like, if I don't do that, somebody's going to die. This looks pretty bad, chat. Like I don't I don't have very good answers to mass throwing weapons, guys. Which if we wipe, we wipe. We tried, but Like, this guy can't even take a tile, right? Which feels pretty bad. He's turned done. So I have to think about where I can apply the most pressure, right? Um, there's a chance that we break moving to here. Yeah, shield, shield's doing work. We might lose dog here, which actually does hurt. Yep. You're done. You're done. Imagine not having the nets. <laughs> also, Raider origin things.
never scared, never worried. But yeah, we 100% we wiped there without nets. Like, 100%. Yeah, no, there's, there's, there's no, <laughs> there's no, uh, there was no, no way we were daggering that, that fight. Like, cause the, the second they backed up, the second they backed up, I was like, they have throwing weapons. I just don't know how many. And then it was like three of them had three of the five had throwing weapons. I was like, oh, we, we're, we're about to wipe. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think this guy just does the starter banner thing, guys. I think I would much prefer another frontliner. Yeah, like he's just going to do he's just going to do the banner thing. Like he's already level two, he's already got XP on him. I might as well. Um, and this guy, I def I, like I need another frontliner for sure. Um, the great thing is, is that we got gear, right? We just need to buy tools. Like the gear upgrades are, are pretty huge for us, right? Like he's already in 95 mail. Like the gear upgrades are, are massive, right? Also, we don't have the tools to be repairing any of this stuff. But yeah, like that all looks good to me. Rock that farmer's hat. We're failing the Fashion Bros test, but you always failed the Fashion Bros test early game, right? So now let's see if we can buy one of these stacks of overpriced tools. Just means you haven't killed enough Reavers. Fair enough. That was a sweaty one. Um, for those of you watching this in the future or on an alternate medium, um, nets are very strong for, for preventing complete breakdowns of your formation. <laughs> These don't get used. We don't need these yet. Um, I'm selling because I need to buy one of these overpriced tax of, uh, stacks of tools, guys. As much as I want to keep those throwing weapons early, like I'm about to spend a mint on uh, on tools, trying to get all this new gear up and running. Like even this Falchion, I really like it, um, but. So let's see, 370 puts me at 2 days pay basically. Right? Cuz I can sell I need I'm a tick short. <sighs> 1 gold. Let's go. I don't really want to sell that shield actually, guys. But I will. I'm close, chat. I'm close. Let's... I need to repair. That's a scenario where I will take a caravan. Ivendorf and saddle whatever. Let's see where it's going. Let's check these out. Ivendorf is right here. That's fine. There's a contract there that we haven't, we haven't settled. And then this town, there's no contract here. Um, so I think I want to go ahead and take the package delivery. And then we walk and heal. 
That's a pretty massive fight. Like, that's a lot of raider gear for this stage of the run, right? Like, getting to a place where we can hit wagons early is a pretty big deal. I do like peeking off the road a little bit, just seeing if I see, like, a thug mansion or something I can hit. Like, I know that there's a thug mansion over here now, right? Like, look at where the footprints are coming from. Also, we want this fight. Um, how healthy are we, though? So we could do it if we're careful. Right? It's how I'm interpreting this. Like, I actually want to backline this guy, frontline this guy, swap armor around, swap weapons around. What I, what I don't want to be doing, chat, is skipping fights that are, are winnable. Like, all of this looks reasonable. Better armor on better bros. But yeah, I 100% I want to take this fight. Don't run. You'll just die tired. I also like getting them on level terrain if possible. Makes the layout a little simpler. Um, okay. So they're gonna run at us. Let's let them move. There is terrain to play with. There's also this I can do shenanigans with. Like I could step into this high ground tile. If I step spear wall, they'll avoid it. So I guess the question is, do I want to try and blow them up here? Right? Like this guy's pretty soft. We probably blow him up if we Zerg. Or do we want to back up to, to better terrain? I think, I think we just blow them up. Put your right foot in. Anyway, um, yeah, so just, you know, keep abusing the AI. That's tough. That's also tough. Oh, 
Maybe made a mistake backing off that high ground tile. This is going to hurt. Yep. It was just the Miller. But that was a mistake, leaving that high ground tile like that. Yep. Tier 2 flail, teeing off on his guys. Ah, simple play mistakes. Get you every time. Good. We needed that break there so we didn't lose a bro. With any luck, that'll be a strike down and we'll get Drill Sergeant. Sergeant unlocked. There's also a universe where, like, I just don't care about the fatigue penalty. I keep them anyway. Yeah, like, there's also a universe where I literally just keep this guy. Um, like, he does have two two stars in um in defense right um maybe <laughs> maybe yeah he can just die next week seems good This guy is our, could have been a banner, the banner that never was. That's like another reason to get rid of him. <laughs> it's like, he dies, then he triggers a morale cascade and he kills your whole team, right? Uh, but he's level two, so we make it work. Remind me before we fight again that we need to rearrange our team. Chat, if y'all don't mind. I treat because a lot of, I'm treating those because a lot of enemies in the game have Axie, um, Executioner, and I'm just not prone to dealing with that at the moment. Let's see where this is going. Southwest. So this is going to a southern town. I do need to heal, right? I do need to heal. I probably get a thug fight out of it. Let's rearrange the team to put people back where they're supposed to go. I mean, honestly, he could also like, like one of these two could honestly just be on the front line, like double gripping a flail.
pocket shields on. Okay. This seems fine to me, chat. I am going to take this caravan. We need to heal. I don't like it, um, but I will use caravans to heal. That's kind of where we're at. All right. Ambition complete. And somebody watching this is like, where's all the raiding? This is supposed to be raiders. You're supposed to be raiding. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get there. Two thousand crowns, that makes sense. And while we're walking, things we want to talk about. Oh, it's clutch early. Like we we went to we 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 went to like fifty percent of our team being raider gear, like raider tier gear in one in one fight like it's kind of crazy this is fine all right so the enemy weapon distribution is not fine right let's back up These idiots are going to run forward, so these are going to take high ground tiles, right, and try and fight us right here. That's pretty bad. We're, we're almost where we need to go, so if the caravan hands get slaughtered, like, that's on them. That has, that has very little to do with me. Like, I'm getting paid to protect the donkeys chat, not them. Really, just gonna move behind me. If I step forward, I'm asking for problems. It's like just easier to let the caravan hands take contact. I also want to see where, where these things move. Like there's a universe where I want this high ground tile. just gonna using their HP bars chat oh. 
out. We're not going to try and be cute here. We're just going to try and kill these things. Did not see, still see that alive. I was clicking too quick. Otherwise, I definitely never moved there. Donkey. Yeah, that's my best Shrek impression. What of it? like acceptable Wanna make sure we get get that kill that's fine That sucks. I really wanted the the leveling stick chat that that the guy had, but like it's okay. Can't win them all. Okay. Yeah, that that first nimble kit is like like crucial. It's like getting over the Raider gear threshold is such a big deal. Okay. Um, very nice. If you're wondering how I'm building these guys, you you guys will see. <laughs> you you'll see. This is some of the most fun in, in BB for me, the early days trying to get Raider gear. Yeah, hard to agree, Flynn. Uh, or sorry, Finn, not Flynn. There is no L there. Finn42, hard to agree. Also, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Pleasure to have you here, my guy. Thank you for piping up. But yeah, this is a thing we've been working on is, is trying to get as consistent as possible in these early games. And like, sometimes, you know, it throws you for a loop and you got to figure it out. But we always tend to work it out in the end. Uh, 
I'm inclined to make him some kind of damage, bro, but like Tiny doesn't lend itself to that, huh? We'll see. But yeah, we look we look real good. Uh, <laughs> we look real good like for day seven. Our fight density is poop, but we we're doing very well on gear. But your your fight density for raiders, by the way, guys, it's it's gonna be low. It's gonna be low. Right? Like in the beginning, it's gonna be low. Because you're one, you have that walk south that you need to get done. Um, that's like the main reason for it. <sighs> Extremely expensive ranged uh, nomad. Cheap assassin. I would love to hire this guy. I mean, did the nomads have a convention here or something, guys? Like, what's what's going? What's really up? Deliver the package. Deliver it where? Al Hadet. There's also no weaponsmith. One of the things we look, would like to do while we're down here, chat, is buy our first Katal, so we can get that going. Net snap snap by, <laughs> like snap by. Not difficult. Don't have to think about it. Not a conversation. Um, but yeah, there's no weaponsmith here. Uh, there are tools here, chat. We are going to take advantage of some cheap tools. We are done with this tier gear already. The question is, are we ready to deal with nomads, right? We can fight cutthroats. Um, outlaws are, are a little, a little spooky depending on the quantity. So I think what we want to do is, and I don't think we're ready to buy Katal's yet either. Let's see how far this town is. Mm. We'll walk this way. See, Hopefully it's our arena town and we can get a fight there. And then if it's not, we'll check and see if there's a weaponsmith. If there's no weaponsmith here, we don't play this town. We we bounce out. And we start playing our area where we think that there's fights. And I also want to check and see. I'm fairly certain there's a camp somewhere around about here. So I want to see what that is. Because if it's a low tier brigand camp, we can hit it. Like tier ones early game you can hit without 12 bros but anything bigger than that you're gonna want 12 at pretty much any stage of the game unless you're just insanely strong there is a weaponsmith here they did have a fire Let's see what we have two skull beasts mm. so we know that serpents aren't in the pool early so that's a thing to think about that's a cheap caravan hand. That's a very cheap caravan hand chat. That said, I don't want to balloon up too big. I do want roughly eight bros. All right, let's see. Let's check the higher. Also a very cheap day tailor. Let's roll on this cheap caravan hand. Well, that's disappointing. I mean, he's basically zero two. If you if you look at it this way, he's zero two stars, right? So he's like a fine, a fine-ish nimble tank, right? So let's think about it this way, right? So we make this guy a nimble tank because we would take zero, we would take zero two stars and make him a nimble tank anyway, right?
and then we know what this guy's job is. We know what this guy's job is. We know what this guy's job is. Um, this guy, right? Um, Tiny is a little awkward, uh, but I can probably work around that. Right, so if you think two defense bros, a banner, what we're missing now is really, really offense bros, but it might just be a universe where we save up some money and come down here and hire assassins or whatever else we need. And I'm okay with that. So this is, this is fine. This is all reasonable. So beast, two skull beast hunt. Most likely hyenas, could be nachos. I should probably be aiming up here because they're gonna turn. They've gotta aim where they're gonna be, right? There you go, five hyenas. Checking equipment. Maybe this guy backlines. He, this guy needs to backline with no shield and no level four defense perk. Like he's gonna get chewed out or chewed up, not chewed out, chewed up. Literally. So with any luck, we get three hyena pelts out of this. Let's be real, chat. We're not gonna get hyena pelts. You can get like two strange meat and like one saliva and like one pelt. That tile seems terrible. For those of you who don't know, um, hyenas, like hyenas and wolves, their attacks are a cleaver. And so there's a reason why they feel absolutely horrible until you get something that looks like real armor on, right? Um, and, and or until you have nimble, right? Um, that's, that's what the difference is. Like pre-nimble, it's just the most awful thing in the world. doing it for the resolve. better Break, break over here, please. Nope. 
so the morale breaks a part of the equation is distance so maybe that was wishful thinking good what first beast fight for the run we didn't even get the strange meat guys I did it for the strange meat anyway So I do need to make a small food purchase. Um, it's a little early. I would love to hold on to these pelts. Um, can't quite, can't quite do it yet. That's fine. I need enough food to get to where I'm trying to go. Insanely expensive food, but that's just max economic difficulty. That said, I could probably... So the way the penalty for food works is you, in order to get the penalty, you have to be at zero at the midday tick. I burn 17 per day, so I know that I won't be zero at the midday tick, right? So that's, that's fine. So from here, I'm gonna come up this way. The desert is very poorly positioned for us on this seed, huh? Like not having a contract town feeding into the desert feels bad. Does our other city at least have a port? Doesn't look like it. So close to Jebated. That's also our arena town, by the way. Because the arena wasn't here, correct? Yeah. It's also our arena town. Feels Feels bad. So, because the arena town is pretty much out of play, unless we commit to playing the desert early, and I'm not, I'm not fond of that. Not for their, for this, for this origin. Now that would be a route if our seed was just like abysmal for actually hitting caravans, but it's not. So we're not at zero food at the midday tick. So we'll, we'll buy food here, then we'll start playing around here. Maybe take a short jog out this way trying to hit wagons. Where are you going? No, I'm not going back to Tanweer. Don't want to go up top. Not a lot of luck with, with finding early fights. Um, I'm pretty big on fight density early and it's just not, not coming together, but that's okay. Like again, it's okay to trail a little bit. Ooh, levels. Levels chat. probably comfortable enough to hit a wagon as well if i say this guy is going to be a bad a bad katal bro um while we find a better guy that is a thing we could do um i i need another damage bro out of the bunch here so that that's an option i, I don't mind that at all meanwhile Terrible banner candidate continues to be terrible. All right, that, that seems all that seems reasonable. So we'll make this guy a early game Katal at DPS, bro.
Yeah, he he's he's effectively going to be a, a puncture, bro. Hey. Them act th them actables. Them act a bills. With the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Call me call me Mac. Cool. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I and I'm I am grateful for the compliment. Let's just say that. So what I'm gonna do here is I I do think that there's like a thug mansion over here. I could be wrong, it could be like a tier two. But I want to start playing the part of the road where our caravans come from. We did see caravans making it here, so it makes me think that there's not a scripted ambush stopping our food from making it. Nachos, we fight six nachos here. Also a uh, little ghost manor here, we're going to hit that too. Things are looking up, chat. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Now the question is, I guess we'll know when the music starts, if we're getting undead credit or beast fight credit for this. I'm 100% not supposed to be stepping up into this, by the way. I'm supposed to be kiting back. Sounds like we're getting beast fight credit for this. So the thing about nachos is if you kill, you want to make sure you can control the corpse, right? Otherwise the fight can very, very quickly get out of hand. But nachos also have like no resolve. ready to do my sound effect and he didn't hit. That's great. But yeah, I'm I'm not supposed to run forward in into this by the way. So I know I know it worked out, but don't have outcome bias. That was that was strictly incorrect what I did there. I calls him like I sees him, chat. Okay, good. What did we say we're doing this guy? Like, again, the banner that never was. I mean, he's kind of better. Like, if we're not using him as a frontliner, he's actually just better than the guy that we're going to use as a banner, right? So maybe I should start leveling him to be a banner. 
He's mediocre at best at the job. No matter what, he has to take this resolve role. We can we can figure that out a little bit later. I, I don't like either of these as any type of like late game banner, but at least this one can be the old school, um, the whip banner. <sighs> yeah, the problem is, is like, I don't need a whole bunch of shield mace. I don't need more shield mace bros, right? Like shield mace, shield mace. I guess I do need, um, like this is a bad Katal. Okay, so I guess he's he's 104, right? That's a good call out. I can I can respect that. I can I can accept that and spec him that way. That makes sense to me. I mean, but we need four, right? Like he does he does fill the role. It's just he's tiny, but we, these guys aren't supposed to be DPS anyway. Yeah, tiny. He can't be tiny as a dervish. Like this thing's job is DPS, right? Or that thing's job is DPS. So. Okay. Well, we fight this. I was expecting. Um, Shrooming him up makes for, for it. I've used I've used uh, shrooms in this game like like one time and immediately regretted it. it it's, it's all about them them lion heart potions and second wind pots. Yeah, that that I could I could see that I could see that. Well, while we wait for these undead to uh, move in, thank you again, everyone who's uh, joining us tonight. Uh, while we work on this new raider run, this first twenty days here, um, so far it's it's going fine. It's just kind of chugging along, getting through some of the early game challenges. Um, our bros are rolling okay. Like I'm not super impressed i'm not i'm by no means disappointed with what i'm getting um i've definitely seen a lot worse the thing from here is just stabilizing getting to a place where we can start getting our first retinue if we're gonna play hard into rating getting the brigand sooner rather than later to help us scale and and honestly until we set up our team it's probably going to be an arming sword party um, and if you've never had an arming sword party in this game, um, the only thing better than an arming sword party is a dagger party, but it ain't no party like a dagger party. My point is we're, we're just kind of grinding through it. Like nothing, it, we did have a very explosive set of gear drop out of that first raider fight, right? Um, I'm tempted. It's going to depend on what we're getting for caravan loot, if we pivot to a full clear strategy or not. But you don't have to have a super explosive start to have a good run. I think, I think um, if you're in the habit of like chain re-rolling or like you know, for people who like heavily save scum, you start getting into this habit of having these like super strong starts for the runs you actually play. And then you like switch to Iron Man and you're like, man, like, when am I going to get a good start? And it's like the run doesn't really get good until mid game, you know, and then everything before that, you're just kind of like sometimes sometimes you pop off. But a lot of times you're just kind of treading water until you get set up. And that's OK. I wouldn't even call this treading water. I would say we're just incrementally improving like fight by fight our team's position. Yeah, I'll take that. 
if I can get decap, son. And somebody out there is like, you know, you could have decapped a whole bunch more than just that one. I'm like, that's true, but, you know, you get another 5 XP the second time you kill it, so, you know, value, value plays. Getting one of these armor sets off of the uh, raider raider trait would be great too. Ow. Stop poking me. These sell for, for a pretty penny here. Another plus accuracy women. Um, we're pretty set on those, but but the, the rule one of Battle Brothers is dying is fun, right? Um, witnessing the dying of your enemies is fun. I, I personally don't enjoy wiping. I have somewhere between like 1500 and 2K hours in this game. And when I hard wipe, to like something stupid, I still have moments where I'm like, man, I could uninstall this right now and just never have these problems ever again. And I never do, but I think about it sometimes, chat. Just saying. Um, I'm just not gonna repair the 65. It's not worth the tools. In fact, I'm gonna move this 75 to the front line and move this 50 to the back and call it good. Yeah. So before you have the brigand, it's really hard to go on like a long raiding journey. It's much easier to kind of poke at the at intersections. You do want to be moving at one time speed when you're moving into hostile territory because a small noble army is still insanely dangerous at this stage of the game. I'm just kind of probing to see if I can catch something slipping. Because there's multiple towns that feed down this road. So I kind of just want to pop my head up to about right here, explore a little bit. If I don't see anything, I'll come back. Also clearing ambushes helps. Okay, so we fight this. We just don't want to fight it in a swamp. Make sure we're healthy. Like this is fine here. Um, do I have daggers on people? I do. Uh, let's also bring a net or two just to be safe. And I actually want to give him a flail instead of a cleaver. I also want to give him a flail instead of this hammer. The reason why is like like raiders, a lot of the caravan hands decide it's too hot outside for headgear. Oh, and peasants. Look at the snacks, chat. I'll go up the road to get the peasants. Okay. Um first fighting the guards. See what we're dealing with. That's an arming sword for us, chat. We want, <laughs> we want it. Uh, one bit of heavy armor to, to interact with, that's also fine. Let's make sure we're lining our flails up on this arming sword that doesn't have um, a derm. See, see, I couldn't even say it quick enough. That's how I can tell you've been paying attention. 25 points to Durham House. Um, yes, we're going to line our flails up into this part of the fight. 
um, because our boy forgot his hat. Very well done. Um, I'm, I'm prone to want to dagger this, uh, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Are we getting graded for this? Absolutely, A absolutely. But don't worry, it's like English rules. Like it's not like, like pen and paper, and like I'm doing A's and B's. It's kind of like house cup. Like I'm just assigning points to the various factions and um, at the end of it all, somebody wins, somebody loses, you know? Is there a universe where this arming sword just like royally chews us up and I'm like underestimating it? Yeah, I definitely underestimated that thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not this world. I wonder if their AI even still switches because I killed that guy. That's, that's so interesting. Their AI didn't even switch because I got that kill. Oh, there's another dude like lurking over here. Knock, knock. Oh, God. I don't know where this is going. Yeah, dude is just, just kind of chilling right there. I mean, our flills are where they need to be, so... I wasted some stand by spear walling ahead of time. I wasn't paying attention to initiative. That's how that happened. How did he miss the donkey chat? It's basically a stationary target. For a split second, I forgot that these don't have puncture in their AI. I was like, don't puncture me, bro. Yeah. So, something I remember from my active duty days, right? We had this like really messed up cadence, right? And it was all about like clubbing baby seals, right? Just, just, just roll with me. Google it if you don't believe me. It's a real army cadence. Um, and every time I start flailing like brigands and thugs and caravan hands, for some reason, I just remember that cadence. And if you think I'm making it up, Google it. Like that's a real cadence. I digress. Just just sharing my inner thoughts, chat. Oh, oops, wrong wrong one. I thought that was this bro with the shield. Bros with shields all start to look the same. Let's be honest. All right. <laughs> he 
he failed a resolve check because we hit the donkey. Um, that's an ooh, ooh, that's a payday right there, chat. Look at that. All right. Um, yeah, that's that's real nice. Um, also, we can just like upgrade a spear on somebody. We don't like really have DPS, but the things we're fighting, we don't really need DPS into. So it's kind of like now we have an actual raiding trip going, right? So like we kill these for a little bit of food and a mood boost. Our party isn't very large. And and I've talked about this before, you know, staying small while playing Raiders is a thing if you're really gonna be leaning into the caravans because it's sustaining yourself, right? Like it's really hard to sustain 12 dudes, food, tools, all that, right? Um, but I mean, when you're small, like, just the food you get off of constantly hitting peasants plus what you're getting off the wagons is pretty good at sustaining you. It's over, chat. He has the high ground. I forget if the one in this bush or not has a weapon. Or maybe he's in this bush over here. Wasn't really paying attention. He has a club. Oh, God. I actually don't really want to get hit by this, but I might. All right. Seems good to me. Like, we only burn, like, 17 food per day. That was eight units of food. That's half a day's worth of food. So don't judge me for beating the crap out of peasants. I'll do it again. Hmm. I am not 100% sure about this fight. It's not necessarily awful for us. Also, there's a small orc camp around here somewhere. Our find density, I'm sure, is, is absolutely terrible. Oh, nine battles, actually. It's better than I thought. Um, the question is, is am I doing this fight? Our frontliners all at least have some some levels, right? Yeah, this this should be fine. Famous last words.
So we want to wait all and then kite back three to mess up their charge. Or at least wait till we know their their move their move distance, right? Because sometimes you want to kite too. It just depends. Yeah, this is this is one hundred percent kite three. Mini, mini orc youngs not worth it yet. Maybe we could wipe here. That's a thing that could happen. Hey, what up, Galroy? How's everything going? There's something satisfying about, like, stunning orcs. Like, because they stun you a whole bunch, right? And you're just like, yeah, let's see how you like it kind of thing. This guy's in a dead man's tile. We do need to get him some help. Like, we need to make sure we get that under control pretty quick here. Concerned about getting this guy out of a three tiles around is like my MO right now. That's why. Super close. Is he bleeding? He's not. Okay. So there's a universe where this guy doesn't die. Also, guy on bottom just soloing an orc. 
can we can we talk about this Chad right here? Who's like just like been by himself down here this whole fight? That hurt. That hurt just, just, just a little bit, chat. This could be bad. This could be like tap, tap, dead. Like that's a thing that could happen. What's the initiative order? Okay, so this guy's, so looking at the initiative order, we should be able to deal with it before it acts, maybe? Question mark? Yeah. Arming swords are good, try them. Bruh. Okay. It's like, bruh, not, nah, but like, for real. I'm gonna change this guy's name to let me solo him. <laughs> like, just, just what a guy. What an absolute legend. Like, if he doesn't control that orc with no support that entire fight, we lose. Like, we get wiped there if he doesn't do exactly what he did. <laughs> he can wear, wear a jar on his head. A jar, no shirt. Two katanas. I also, by the way, put like 1,500 hours in it. Not 1,500, but about 1,000 hours in the Elden Ring, too. <laughs> but yeah. I, pl I play some new video games, chat. All right. Um, bad DPS, bro. Continues to be bad. That's okay, though. Now we have two bros that can deal damage. All right, he's good. What did we say we're, oh, this is our, our, <laughs> this is our Terra banner, huh? Like this guy's one function is to rally and throw nets. Like he, he's actually a net duelist. He's a net duelist with rally. He's like that bad. Slash holy water bot. But we'll, he'll, he'll function until I find something better. Like not having a guy who can hold the flagpole means you can't take the the undead camps when they start spawning with guys and like you just you just lose too many high value fights if you don't do it that way. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, why don't you swap? Yeah, the ancient did have fearsome. Like that's a thing you have to think about. Like, there's a, a ser an actual case for just doing everything in your power to have a banner as soon as possible, even if he's terrible. And I've tried holding out for like premium banners and that type of stuff doesn't work. These are too spicy for us. We do want to be able to hit these by like no later than day thirty. Like that's kind of the time frame. Also, like those came from a camp, right? Like, where the like, this might be orc country in here.
Oh, yeah. This is what we like to see, chat. What's the difference between trading and supply? Um, supply caravans typically have tools, ammo, um, and um, medical supplies, right? Trading caravans typically have trade goods. Um, and the, the caliber, the caliber of fight, it's a completely different fight. Um, the supply caravans have um, footmen and billmen, occasionally arbalisters, right? Like actual noble nobles guarding them. Um, these have like these scrubs. But you make your money off of supply caravans. It and the, oh, and the supply caravans can also be carrying trade goods from the town, from the town they're coming from. Um, but you make your money on supply caravans off of the loot drop from the guys you're killing because they have like 150 mail and like 215 and 230 helms and like bill hooks and all types of other stuff that that is just awesome. It's also a good good bit of gearing that you can get done doing that too, obviously. Like if that's your loot table is like bill hooks and tier three melee wep till tier three four AP weapons, like tier three mining pick, tier three mace, arming sword, just like good stuff, you know? So if you can hit those early, it can be very good for getting you ahead of curve on gear. Exactly. Exactly, double point. Like, you're talking about thousands upon thousands of crowns in, like, things that you don't have to purchase. Again, maybe I'm giving up high ground too easy here, but... These things don't have puncture in their AI. Otherwise, I handle that quite a bit different. And I and I know that they don't have puncture in their AI, so you know, they get abused. Um, I mean trade goods are trade goods, right? Another one. Hard to feel bad about easy money, exactly. Um, I'm a little concerned about like this guy's armor being scuffed up. Like I don't really have spare armors and stuff yet, so I have to be careful. I have to be careful with guys, you know what I mean? Also, there's a chance that like one of these caravan guards is like, is kind of spicy. So let's bring a net just in case. Oh, there's no there's no guard here. These are just this is just hands. We don't we don't need a net for this. We just need to be careful. And the other thing is like the caravan hands can have scram saxes, which sell for a lot. Like after you repair like this is 
these this is like an extra 300 to 400 crowns or something like that in weapons like scram saxes sell for an insane amount when they're fully repaired Gotta be careful with this guy who's injured here. Again, they don't have puncture in their AI, so knives are legitimately not horrifying like they are on thugs. Like, it's not the injury factory that it is when, when you're dealing with thugs, you know what I mean? You also notice this run, guys, I have a much heavier use of shields. I, like I said, I'm trying to get better at differentiating roles early. I believe that that's a stronger way to play the game. I'm just, I'm just kind of testing it myself and feeling it out. Um... Like, I know that the dodge quick hands meta works, right? Like, that's not a question to me. Um, but I'm trying to see if this feels stronger. Um, so, like, again, this is from the, that town on the edge of the map we identified at the beginning that had a, her a, uh, a herbalist grove, right? But, like... These are going to sell for a fortune. Like, we still actually made a ton of money on this caravan, right? Um, and we got food, and we got XP, and we got crowns, right? Did it for the strange meat chat. And this is our town that has the amber down here. Has the amber wagons. So I'm going to walk up to about right here, brigands, thugs, and poachers at night. Um, absolutely. I'm just chaining fights. I'd like to line up a flail on this right here, if possible. Um, this guy needs to back up because he dies to like one shot from a ranged weapon. So it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, so we're just lining up our flails into all these soft noggins up here. Let's let this move off of uh This is fine. I 
don't want to engage it on high ground if I can avoid it, which I believe I can. Yeah. Okay. Ow. That's bad. That's super bad. Bad guy's in a terrible spot. I wasn't expecting that that movement. See if I can't help him. See if I can't stun this axe. Nope. Okay. Streamer luck. Pre recorded. Hashtag unrealistic results. So, in fairness, he has dodge and actually has defense leveled, right? But still. That was still like very bad positioning on my part. Not perfect, chat. Try and make sure my food doesn't get away. Actually, time to start walking back. We basically have a full bag. size our armor a little bit. But yeah, fight density definitely picked up there. This is good for us. Our town with all the amber is... See, I got footprints. That's heading towards us, so those are those peasants. Our town with all the amber is down here. I'm not going to go all the way down here. Again, I'm just kind of going to kind of like poke my head at it. See what's here. The caravan or whatever it is heading this way can't be hostile. So no sense in chasing it. So you want to get back and sell. We likely also have enough gear to com enough uh, loot to complete the ambition, if I had to guess. Right? 
Like these scram saxes are going to sell for a fortune. The orc weapons sell for about 200 gold apiece. Eyeball on this tree line. We actually want to move to our, towards our tier 3 city up here. Because there's a universe where we catch some wagons that have made it pretty far. Like there's a universe where we catch wagons heading down this way. That's that supply here, man. There's, again, we're, we're a while from being able to find anything like that. What quest do you have for me? Where do you want me to take it? Are we already heading that way? We are. Yeah, this is fine. And how expensive are tools here? Ugh, tools are very expensive. Um, so that'll be a hard no. Well, we want to play that part of the map up there anyway, because we want to we want to, if possible, hit some more wagons up top. All right, shield check for our price here. It's like either 16 or 17. Again, for the newer players who don't know, you can take an item that costs 100 gold, like a shield or a um, or mushrooms or something like that. And it'll just show you the percentage that you're selling at in that town. Obviously, trade goods and treasure aren't affected by the percentage or aren't reduced in the same way, I should say. And so it allows you to have a common denominator of sale price between town, which lets you know if you're getting a good price or not. I um, mean, this does make a difference. Like you don't want to, sometimes towns will have multiple negative events and your shield price will be single digits. Like you're, you're literally giving away half, sometimes 75% of your profit from your bag um, by not paying attention to that. And we consider 16 a relatively reasonable sale price. It's not the best, but at expert economy, it's it's fairly reasonable. That proxy ambition. We already have somebody who has rally, so we want to make sure that we pick that as our next ambition. It'll auto trigger. And then you just start chaining ambitions, which is great. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's making money. So now I'm not going to splurge on recruiting or anything like that right this second. What I'm waiting for is I'm going to wait for the next ambition to prop. If I, if I get recruit a follower, I'll take that one and then instantly recruit the brigand, complete it, and then do the one for, for rally and complete it, right? Um, otherwise, I'll just click rally if it's offered. But I have two ambitions that I can complete very, very quickly in the queue. Um, the other loop I could be doing is I could be rushing to 12 to try and full clear, um, which we're still probably going to full clear anyway. Like, let's be real. Y'all know I love busting camps here. But by mixing in caravans and fighting control, fighting patrols and contracts, right? If I do a fight density check, right? Like I'm at, I'm at 13 fights in 14 days. Like that's, that's fine. I'm at 14 fights in 14 days.
also why I wanted to be playing this part of the map because I'm close to where caravans can be coming in. I want to get eyes on the guards. There's one of them. He's not too crazy geared. There, I believe that there's another, there's either, there's probably another wagon and another guard that I need to be looking for. Yep, there he is. And he brought us an arming sword chat. How kind of him. If you're super patient, these guys will actually stamp themselves out with uh, shield wall and spear wall. I'm not gonna do that to chat. Um, but if you're playing by yourself and there aren't people like watching you for entertainment, um, it is a very good way to open in these fights. I like this. Also like playing this here. And this, if I spear wall, encourages this guy to go this way. He's not gonna wanna go into low ground. He's not gonna go into a spear wall. Maybe he goes here. All of his options are pretty terrible, but let's see where he goes. Okay. He goes to the only tile he can really get to. That's fine. Sacks is still a scram sacks. Regardless of who's holding it, I guess. Okay. It's just this. Ooh. Just this guy right here. triple miss. I do believe if the donkeys get threatened, they just come back. Like, they're not allowed to actually flee from the fight. Could be wrong. We'll see. He waits. He waits. Uh, he's surrounded. So let's get donkey XP while you wait for that guy to come back. He 
easy enough. How do you miss the donkey, man? It's right there. Yep, he's back. Okay, there's that, there's that. And there's that. Profit, stuff, gear. Y'all know what a reward screen looks like. This is his shield spec, or sorry, may spec level. The the band of the band of hawks. Um, it depends on on what I'm doing that run, right? I usually do some type of, of raven, of raven pun, um, or vulture esque pun, when I'm playing um, when I'm playing raiders, um, when I'm playing when I'm playing gladiators, um, I typically do some type of like Spartan reference. Um, when I'm playing new company, I usually just make a joke about about dying for profit. Um, something along those lines. I typically, like the thing, I'm, I'm more particular about the banner I pick. Because the banner says a lot about how I'm going to do the playthrough. It's so like you'll notice I planned on raiding super hard early game through the entire game this run. So like I got to pick my raiding banner, right? Like if I'm going to be doing a line of Bardishes, I'm probably picking the triple axe banner, right? Like that type of thing. And I'm super particular. Like if I'm doing a line of Bardishes, like I'm going to do three Bardishes in the middle so it matches the banner. And everybody on the on the edges is probably going to have like rusty the chosen axes or something like that. Like I'm still using good weapons. I'm not, I'm not sacrificing combat power for the memes, you know, but I do stuff like that. Exactly. Simple fashion, bros. What is this? A so I haven't talked about the these quests um, this run. So now is probably a good time to do that. There are three types of of search search for location quests. There's find the location. There's find, obtain, and secure. Obtain and secure both scale the fight debt down at the location to something your party should be able to handle. Find the thing does not change the fight at the location. Find the thing is typically a very bad quest early unless you need to be paid while you heal, while you walk, basically. Um, similar to how we use caravans, um, similar to how we use delivery quests, like I, if I need downtime for my company, I want to be getting paid and gaining renown during that downtime. So this is a thing we can do. This is a fight, right? Um, so I will, I will take this, right? Um, but I'm going to wait till day because I need to buy tools.
expert economy problems tools cost a fortune chat anybody anybody like farmers um there's like a farmers only convention in this town just saying Um, before I go do this, I'm going to take a peek up this road. I'm going to fight this before these get free. Like, I'm going to hurry up and, and whack this caravan. That's a lot of hedge knights. Yeah. Like when hedge knights go home and they take their superhero costume off, they're actually all just farmers. They're actually all just farmers in their day job. You know what I mean? Um, the only thing here that I'm seeing that I really want is that helm, but they're being interesting. So like not being able to see where they're, where they're at because of the bushes is kind of a thing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just want to line my puncture bro up against this thing. Looks like they're going to be stubborn about it. They never move where I want to move, chat. It's kind of frustrating. a guy that I let get into a dead man's tile because I was trying to be cute to catch this helmet so I might I might take more damage than I need to take here like hopefully we can mitigate it but Now, again, if you're, whether you're watching this now, or you're watching this sometime in the future, just like a little caveat, right? I am testing a different party comp than what I normally use. Um, what I really want people to be paying attention here, to here, more so than anything, is like what I'm doing on the strategic map, right? To like attempt to get results, right? Because it's like, oh, your fight seemed to be like, not like as clean as it. Look, I could build a whole bunch of dodge quick hands bros and look better for the first 10 days. But the team I'm building now, after about day 20, they're gonna look like gods, even though the average quality dude is like basically a random low worn scrub. Just have to get there. That removes the shield wall. That makes his shield wall worse. Hmm. 
All right. Probably wait on that. And the guy stamped out. Like, just, just give in. There you go. Is that so hard? It's like, just accept it. Um, first, getting paid. Um, also, these sell for a lot. Um, you can do quite a bit of planning with the weapons, because the weapon sets are are fairly narrow for these caravans. So I typically do my planning around arming swords, um, but you could do build planning around scram saxes if you wanted to, because you know that you're gonna get a boatload of them. You could do it around these hand axes if you wanted to, because you know you're gonna get a boatload of them. Like it gives you flexibility to, or not flexibility, it gives you a very determinist, a deterministic way of approaching your builds because you know what stuff you're getting out of these fights. Because there's only but so many weapons that caravan guards and hands can have. So it's it's also an added bonus, a bonus to playing it this way. But I'd like to think we're we're fairly well paid right now. May spec level. He's just in the back because he's hurt. And then we're going to get out of dodge before this noble army sees us. Come up here and camp for a split second. Those are likely the raiders that got intercepted by the nobles right there. Also, I could probably trace those footprints back pretty far if I wanted to, to find something. Um, for this fight, we're 100% not taking a knife in. Um, we're gonna take a flail here. Um, probably taking Like these guys probably have to have a spear just to hit. Um, but let's see if we get if we can get the thing. Worst case scenario, we can always run from the fight too. Like a thing you can do in this fight is you can just because you, you get the thing, like the item that you need, you get it whether you do the fight or not. Um let's make sure we're healthy. This is this is probably fine. We are gonna back two though on people. If you back up, these things will run at you um, without shield walling. And so you want to blow them up before they start shield walling because you don't want to get stuck on shield walls. And they're pretty slow. So as long as you're not in super heavy armor, generally you're able to, to step, on, step in and pop them before they get a turn to, to shield wall.
Okay. And that formula works on Ancient Undead at pretty much every level of, of the game. Um, it's just when you're dealing with legionaries, what you're doing is, is you're, you're still trying to blow up the shield wall legionaries first. And then if that fails, you're trying to focus down the damage and ignore the shield wall enemies. Um, it's a lot like fighting... It's a lot like fighting um, noble stacks, right? Because like noble stacks, you don't want to get stuck on footman walls, right? So it's kind of kind of the same concept, right? Like if you're if you're constantly getting into fights with nobles and ancient dead, where you're like two lines are clashing and you're like exchanging a bunch of blows, you're going to lose every single time because on the Ancient Undead side, they all have Fearsome. They like shatter you. They have Fearsome and Unbreakable and a ton of Resolve. Like they just they just shatter you, right? On the, on the Noble side of the house, they have Fast Adaptation and they have, they have Rally. And they have inspired by leader if they have like knights and um, and um, sergeants, right? So it's really it, it's about not getting stuck on that shield wall. But I guarantee you, if you're having trouble with those two fights, it's because you're getting stuck on the shield wall. Um, there's cook scouts, blah, 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 blah. Um, absolutely. Because as soon as we sell, we're going to, we're going to hire and instantly complete that because we should, we should have the brigand unlocked. That's correct. Oh, we can afford it now. Let's do it. Instantly complete the ambition. I'm approaching this from the forest because I don't know how far down that noble army was walking. That's the dinner bell. See, now I'm seeing the caravans at any distance. Note, if you're using quality of life mods, um, yep, there's the, the ambition completion. So we're sequencing our ambitions in such a way that we're chaining them. Right? So the next ambition we're gonna take is gonna be the sergeant ambition, right? Brigands, sure. Where is this? I do need to buy tools. They don't have tools. What's the sell price here? It's like a, a high 16. Like what's happening there? Um, also, another thing these ancient dead fights are good for, right? All looks good to me, huh? Um, let's get good armor back to the front. Let's get this 55 on somebody. But yeah, this is a reasonable sell price. Um, I think I'm gonna hold for just a second. I don't think I'm gonna fill my bag back up. Um, I would like to buy tools before I did much else. <laughs> That's that same supply caravan chat. Like that's the same supply caravan that we ran into like down here that just made it up here. It's chugging though. Wow, 
All right. Um, that is a reasonable, a reasonable witch hunter. Um, I do have limited hiring options for my ranged units. Um, so that is a consideration at this stage. Let's go ahead and sell. I think we're done with this little loop here. These are actually better than these. Like I do want to keep a few plus accuracy weapons lying around in case of the like random beast fight or something like that. So here, um, let's get our tool situation sorted out. Let's look at where we're at. That's reasonable. Um, so I don't have hunter's cabins. Um, so my next best options for hybrids are cell swords and cell swords, nomads, and uh, range nomads, that is, and witch hunters. This is like not the definitely not the cheapest witch hunter I've ever seen. Also not the most expensive. He does have a tier two crossbow. That that's fine. I, I'll take him. Um, he's actually perfectly fine. Like, what do you mean he's perfectly fine? I mean, he's got um, 25 here, right? After gifted, that's, um, that's going to be 75, 75 mat, right? Like a, just a solid tempo hybrid, right? Um, he's got on average 30 here, right? Um... So again, um, that's 80, that's 83, right? And this is a build that I can run fast adaptation on if I need to, um, but I have him early. For those of you who saw our, our last run, exactly 34 post gifted, right? Uh, so this guy is a very solid, like he's not absolutely incredible, right? But also he's gonna, he's gonna be like level 16 by late game, right? Um, so all that's going to buff out. He's going to be in the 90s by late game. Um, plus, we have him early, so you have to think about events and that type of thing as well. Right? So I'm perfectly fine with that. Right? Um, he, ha he even has an HP star. I could potentially skip... I could potentially skip Colossus on him for a different patch perk if I wanted to. Just a very reasonable bro, right? Let's look at where we're at with money. I still don't wanna hire up too much. I want to make sure that I'm staying small enough that I'm putting XP where I want it. Probably don't need these. Probably don't need this. How many days pay do I have? Seven. I have plenty of food. Excellent. All right, let's go clear this. And like, that's the dinner bell. So we, we know we have a caravan coming to us here. Uh, thugs and a poacher out in the open, sure.
I think I just take advantage of the fact that I have natural high ground. Like that's probably correct. Surprised he didn't nope out. Let's just try and make sure our food doesn't get away. Which it might. This guy can't hit anything. Okay. Oh, look at him go. Prove me wrong, why don't you? I don't have a problem with that. So now we're going to be looking to do a couple things. Um, so we're starting to, to make some pretty good money here, correct, guys? Um, what we're looking to do now is scale scale the run by getting getting the retinue we need settled um, and getting all of our mid game hires done, right? So my team my team I'm going to run three three Dervish Catals. Um, it's an initiative build we use that we pair early game with, um, hey, how's it going, Jackson, man? It's an early game build that we pair with these shield mace bros as a source of damage. Eventually, the shield mace bros get updated to mace fat newts. Um, one, those are just a stronger defensive bro. Um, two, you can't stun a lot of the late game threats, but you can daze them. And that's the enabler for the death blow on your Catals. Um, it's very, very, very powerful. You, you're you double turning things. You're basically getting four to five death blows off on something before it has a chance to act. Um, and most things just melt. Um, or warriors melt, unholds melt. Like it just, it's it's that, that strong. Um, so that, and it also gives you early game these bros that it's really hard to do something with, it gives them a function that that works very well. Um, you essentially have six Indom bros with shields. Well, these shields will be upgraded to heater shields as soon as we can. Um, and it's a great early game setup that transitions very well to late game. So that's what we're doing. But in order to get there, we need to try and start hiring some of our, our mid game stuff, um, get our range bros sorted out. Uh, we need to get our, our Catal guys situated. We need to get them their Catals, right? Um, so that's kind of where we're at now in development. Um, we still don't really want to be doing premium, premium bro hiring, right? 
I would like to hire maybe an assassin as that last Katal bro. This guy will upgrade eventually. Um, he's not an incredible Katal at all, but he'll, he's serviceable. Um, so we'll just use him to fill that job for the time being. But yeah. All right. Quest complete. And another thing that we want to be able to do is we want to be able to hit those supply caravans as quickly as possible. Um, back to chaining and visions. Uh, we better we better name a sergeant. Oh man, that's gonna take forever for us to name that sergeant. Right. Um, so I'm looking for at where my wagons are spawning. This one's coming to us. Right, so I kind of want to cut across to go after this one. This one's fairly close and it's coming from our town that has furs. I also think that there's a scripted ambush up here. That ambition took forever to complete, huh? Now camps with geists are, geist fights in general are online, right? I probably should be careful next to this wood line. There are some potentially scary things that could happen. Yep, scripted ambush spot as I expected. So here are some brigands for us. We wanna get our wagon first and then we'll fight those brigands. Chat, don't let me forget to put a knife back on our back on knife bro um, before we fight the brigands. It's very important that we do that. But yeah, does everything I'm doing for progression thus far make sense, chat? And if you're watching this in the future somewhere, um, th that would be the spot where you would you would type a comment asking a question. I'll check it later, and like I'll get to that stuff. But really, you should be here live with the rest of the family. But anyway, um, yeah. So to like, let me know, guys, if what I'm what I'm doing make like makes sense. a status calculus or statistic cal calculus with the follow you must be doing that next level next level math bro what what gigabrain math are you on i'm like instantly afraid But welcome, welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have you. And I think like over the course of this run, um, once I get outside of this first 20 days, I. I know typically I talk a lot more to chat about like experimenting with things while we're working on the best way to do something. Um, again, I'm using the first 20 days of this to to post and put something out there to help players start the origin. Um, but once we get past this first 20 days chat, um, it's back to business as usual. So we'll be we'll be I'll be picking you guys' brain, getting feedback. Um, we'll be testing things like we normally do. Um, for those of you who were with us during the Battle Forge Throwers experiment and didn't get to see the Monolith fight, um, those things went hard. 
maybe too hard, the Necro Savants actually didn't want anything to do with them. Right? So we lost the ability to predict where the Necro Savants were going because our backline was like a little too beefy. But um, those things were like, basically they turned into sword duelist chat. Like they were, they were like soloing honor guard by the end of the fight with swords. It was kind of crazy. I was like, what monster unit did we build? So I was I was very pleased with the uh, the outcome on that build. No, the f hey the the uh, what up, Slurgy? The the. <laughs> Put not oh knives 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 on knife bro yes knife knife on knife bro thank you you may not have understood exactly what I said but you you remembered well enough to to help me and that that's really all I can ask for thank you you're a good man. But yeah, those those the forge the battle forge throwers did did shenanigans in Monolith. Like it was, I was very surprised at how good they actually were. Um, there are marksmen, right? Um, there are marksmen, and we're doing this during the day, and we have to consider throwing weapons. So I'm gonna start shields out. Like that's how we're gonna do this. Um, and I actually want my backliner in better armor. And my backliner is gonna start with a net in his pocket, guys. And that's how that's how we're gonna play it. So I have availability of a net. Um, my banner could also start with the net out. Like that's also a thing we could do. Um, and then I want knives on everybody because this, this may turn into a dagger party. We also may just get rolled here, but wishful thinking chat. Um, let's, let's stick with the, the sword here. Better spears on guys. This is fine. All right, this is this is a reasonable loadout. I think I have a butter knife on somebody still. Yeah, he should definitely just have a real knife. Okay. So let's go ahead and run at this. Um, I, I would love for that mace to drop. I need more of those. That's also a very attractive flail, guys. been doing band of poachers recently how's that been going for you <laughs> gladiators went to hell yeah it, it, it happens don't don't fault yourself for that 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 just happens with gladiators Yeet. Cool. 
that was brought to you by Dagger Spec. Uh, does he have mastery? They're lower raiders. He may not have mastery. He definitely has mastery. <laughs> okay. Duly noted. Nice headshot. How? Please stop. Okay. So far, this is fine. He wants to get on my range, bro, y'all. Fine, we'll get we'll get range bro help here in a second. I actually don't have time to, to dagger now because I let something get on my range guy back here. Like it's fine, but at the same time it's kinda not fine. Ow. Surprise it didn't shoot there. Ow. Good job, banner. Let's be real, we never actually expected our banner to hit anything. Like literally ever. These pre-nimble fights are always like so scary, huh? Like you're just so fragile without those perks. Hoping these nope out. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So now I can put a healthy melee bro on them, which is which is fine. Just make sure my food doesn't get away. One in the chamber chat, always. It's 
always one in the chamber. How much damage does this guy have? Not enough to do the flail attack to get the gear, so. Probably just poke him. Got it anyway. Also the, you know, playing raiders. That's also a thing that happens. Um, this fight was great for us. Um, this sells for a metric ton. Plenty of raider gear to go around now. Um, we needed this mace. Um, I mean, just can't, all around can't complain, right? I mean, there's a universe where like we cleave respect this guy, give him FA and like he's the old school whip whip style banner, right? Like he's the uh, we build like the filthy robot style whip banner, which by the way is like one of the most brilliant things that guy ever did in this game. Like that banner, that's such a good banner build. But that's I haven't used it. I haven't used it in forever. It's just like still a thing I have in my toolkit, you know? to like fit the solution after their nerf to whips yeah it's it's still good <laughs> it's still good like don't be fooled it's still great oh chat this can be a so what we can do with this guy because he has such high base resolve this could be a, a fearsome, a fearsome bot, huh? Like we just, we take fortified mind and we just crank his resolve to like 80 something. <laughs> Cause he's going to be, he's going to be next to the banner. So we crank his resolve to like 80 something. And he just like ends, ends human fights. That's a thing we can do. I've been wanting to mess around with that. I like it. Let's do it. Um, that means we probably do need to take Colossus. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll figure out his perks in a little bit. Like Colossus, if I'm, if I'm going to do that, then I need to take Colossus gifted, which is like fine. Cause I'm not going to have, uh, I'm not going to have the rolls if I'm juicing his resolve for fearsome shenanigans, I'm not gonna have the spare rolls to put in the HP because we're going bonk, 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 bonk right here. I believe that's the technical term is bonk, bonk. I'm also doing quite well on Raider gear. Like I just I just can't complain about any of it, guys. This is a shield mace, bro. This is supposed to be a shield mace, bro. This is also a shield mace, bro. He just needs a shield and a mace, you know what I mean? For now he can do this. But yeah. So from here from here, right? Because these are, we're leveling two nimble tanks here. This is going to be a bad Katal, bro. This is going to be a bad Katal, bro, right? It's like, 
one more range, bro. We level this guy to be a whip banner. He's going to be pretty bad at it still. Like, maybe it doesn't work. But I, I would love to just give him another job besides holding the, the flagpole. Maybe we roll out of it and find something else. We'll see. Um, this guy, we could also force to be a thrower banner. Um, that's also a thing we could do because of the high base roll. Um, that might just be better. Regardless, we have options to, to play from here, right? So no matter what, we're looking for another range, bro, probably two, um, which would take us to 11. And we would be looking for at least another Katal. And it depends on what we do with our banner to figure out what we're going to do with our, our front line. Hey, Night Jax, take care. Have a, have a good one. Have a great one. Also, there's a camp over here, right? Like, I'm not crazy. This is like the second or third set of footprints I've seen. This is the second set of footprints I've seen, right? Because there were brigands fighting the um, the noble stack, right? So how much do you want to bet if I get my foot on some high ground? Okay, so more brigand footprints. So the camp that I'm looking for is like over here somewhere. I don't believe we're healthy enough to actually fight brigands. I was just being curious. Like as much as I don't want to skip that fight, we need to heal. Dinner bell. We want this wagon. This wagon's going to have three ambers. So let's walk here, sell, see what we can hire, see what we can hire. Again, looking for range bros. You might even take a trip south. Um, Yeah, so um, let's get the company to a dozen men. Actually, I'll do this one first um, because I'm gonna be picky on my hires. So I can't guarantee that I'm gonna get everything I want. Hybrid's a little expensive, or hybrid, the cell sword, which is basically a hybrid, right? I'll keep a couple spare shields. I'll, I think I'm done with 50 mail. Probably done with these. Definitely done with this, done with this. Okay. Probably don't need two of these. Probably don't need all of this stuff. Okay. Cool. Buy tools if they have some, they don't. Walk and heal. I hope, please don't stop. I hope that caravan keeps going. Oh, don't stop at that town. Come on, come on. Oh, there's, oh, money chat. Have a good rest of your stream. Be safe, everyone. Well, thank you for the good wishes and um, thank you for wishing positivity upon our community as well, my friend. Thank you. What a guy, what a, what a just giga Chad. I don't even think Jackson plays Battle Brothers that much. Like I know he plays, but I don't think he plays that much. But he's here supporting and being kind to the community. What a guy. Having ranged is 
so refreshing because now stuff actually charges me, which makes my fights a lot easier. Just the food wagon. That's that fishing village that didn't have anything, right? That's okay though, that's food we don't have to buy. <laughs> like I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, What are we looking for? Potential range bros, I see none of that here. We do want tools if they have them. We don't want those tools. That's expensive. Um, yeah, no. Sell prices is, is ultra high here too, right? What do you have for our quest? Package delivery where? Day Northwest, I'm not going Northwest. This is follow the tracks. Um, maybe. Like, let's cancel this quest, right? And then let's hit our wagons. Let's hit our wagon, then we'll come back and do that quest. The thing is, we're still not even like full health. <laughs> like, just healing forever. Uh, we do not fight the noble wagon behind that. We could probably go back to like everybody's assigned roles as well, right? Like take shields off of off of damage bros and all that. We we only did that because we were going into um into marksmen. Which pre nimble so so here's this is a good point. Pre nimble, it's it's perfectly okay to have different loadouts for bros. Um so pre nimble into marksmen, I'm like I'm pulling out shields. And I'm, they're not pocket shields, I'm, I'm running them primary. Um, most players who've been playing for any length of time have gone into a fight, and at the top of the fight, before they get to do anything, a marksman just goes, yeet, headshot, and like, kills a bro, right? Like, that, that is a very common way to lose a bro early game. And so, to counteract that, we, we do alternate loadouts. So like a question I'll get a lot of, especially when I'm running like, like a dodge quick hands based team, right? Where I'm running big two handed weapons fairly early in a, in a run is like, I'll get a question to say like, hey, like you, do you not use shields or what are your thoughts on shields? Do you not like shields? I'm like, it depends on what I'm fighting. Like that's gonna vary from fight to fight. Trade goods, money, ambition progress, seems good. Um, we're not quite ready to fight these yet. We will be soon. Um, literally, when, once I get my Katals, I'm ready to fight those. Whoa. We are not ready to fight that. Um, cue the Benny Hill music. And we're going to move it 1x speed. Uh, 
Uh, we need the beast fight. Right? How far are we from these scouts? Yeah, we're a ways off. We definitely need this beast fight. And we're, we're probably fine into nine nachos. At this point in the game. All right. So let's try and do this correct this time. We're actually supposed to kite these backwards. Also, I'm supposed to shoot before I back up, but you know. Again, I'm not actually expecting that guy to hit anything. We're gonna give them a lot of attacks here. We wanna be careful about um, about kills where we can't control the corpse here. A tier two isn't in the end of the world. A tier three is pretty bad for us at this stage. Although we do have a couple guys with mace spec to stun it, right? If we do end up with a giant nacho. Um, but if I can avoid fighting a nacho supreme right now, I, I have no problem with that. gonna get two tier twos out of this which is which is fine you just have to blow them up the turn they transform It's also enough for a nacho necklace if we want one, huh? Want, huh? Right. And we're still like running from that noble army, aren't we? We're gonna work our way back this way. Right, because this is where the caravans are. See if they're actually making it. This one is. If something eats our food in route, we still we still go that way because we try to catch the patrol that ate it.
Yeah, something's eating it. That's pretty far for us to chase. Stop here. Let's see. That's a thief. We are in the market for another Catal bro. Thieves are good hires for that type of thing. So maybe we do that. Yeah, I'm like pretty sold on like going some like really absurd fearsome banner with a, a witch hunter or not banner, but fearsome bro is like my first thrower. I, this might guy might even just be a bad thrower banner. Um, I do go out of my way to buy them, um, but it's not it's not as urgent as you might think, right? Because the the guys before they have their daggers right like if i can just buy a rondel and keep doing work i will because like dagger spec does work like it does a lot of damage even before you have your katals like dagger spec is kind of nuts um just not good enough huh Yeah, like it's a, it's definitely a technique. Um, this guy's just not. This is a fast adaptation dervish. Um, seventy three. If that's seventy three after gifted, right? Because we don't take ones. I I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, like, let's try this gambler. Like, like, we just, we just roll with this, right? Like, we just do this and we don't keep this. <laughs> like, this is, this is much, much, much more gooder for what we're trying to do, right? Like... Yeah, let's I can I can wrap my mind around that. Check contracts, not interested. Where are you going? If it's going south, I actually take it. It's not going south. Uh let's get nets. This fishing village's location is is like premium for what we're doing this run, huh? But on the simpo, for sure, he's not a keeper. I don't think you fired the thief if you're playing for early camps. Dude still still plays FA puncture until he dies to orcs. But in this tempo, he's he's for sure not a keeper. Yeah, I agree. I think I think we're like honestly, I think we're like too far ahead to like be concerned with that.
Welcome to Net Duelist Land. One resident. You. Um, okay. Cool. This guy's dagger specced, right? He is. So that arming sword can actually go somewhere else. Probably here until we get another mace. Right. And we keep like all, a couple of alternate weapons for fights where we don't want to be using puncture. Um, but I think we're in good shape, right? Like we have nets, we have bros. Um, this is our third Katal. This guy will get re replaced. We'll hire like an assassin or something. Um, his int is just going to be a tick too low. Like everything else on him is probably fine. His int's gonna be too low. I'm also like not trying to scale to 12 right away um, because I want to hit, um, where's Ivendorf? I want to hit um, on curve with the ambition because I'm gonna need it. Right? Like very soon I'm gonna stop taking contracts. I'm gonna save up enough money and I'm gonna go north and I'm gonna clear camps while living off of caravans for the most part um, for supplies and that type of thing. For supplies and food. Wow, the trade caravan won. Whatever, whatever decided to jump on it picked the wrong dudes to mess with, I guess. Kind of shocked. I think this is an amber one too, right? Yeah. So we'll grab this wagon, walk this way. Mm. Benny Hill music in force. And like, if we have the scout, we just like, don't have to worry about these guys at all, right? No, 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 no. Are they going south? They are going south. It's like the exact direction I don't want them to be going. I mean, I guess I guess I can juke and catch the road and outspeed the uh, the nobles. That's fine. Huh, get juked. They probably rush me because I have a guy with a crossbow. No? Okay. This is a guard in light armor. So that's fine. I tried it. Interesting. So he did decide to come forward.
We're not gonna need a net this fight. Like, most assuredly. Yeah, we might. It's also tough. Like, something I'm trying to figure out is, like, the order for these, like, FA shield mason bros. Like, obviously, you want FA as soon as possible. But it's like, do you take it at the expense of the perks that keep them alive, you know? Like, we're still in fairly small fights. Like, they're probably taking FA before they take underdog. Which is, like, fine. Yep. That's the one we were hunting from the town that had Amber. This guy is going to end up needing Fortified Mind as a patch perk. Um, but yeah. All right, chat. Um, this has been our, we're at the top of day 20 for our Raider run. Um, we have our first retinue. Um, we're about to unlock another retinue slot. Like literally we hit one more wagon. We have a second retinue slot and we have money for it. We're two beast fights away from the one we ideally want. Um, we, have a mid game team that's shaping up for our play style that we want to play regardless of how you want your teams to look again for this origin like you could you could be doing this with dodge quick hands bros you'd be doing this with adrenaline based teams you could be doing this with a, an aggressive range based team you could be doing this with a, a super defensive team you could be building into duelist shenanigans you could be working on like sword lances for your background, whatever your jam is, whatever you're into, right? Like I'm not, I'm not telling you how to manage your monkey, right? What I'm trying to show everyone is just kind of the things that I'm working on at the strategic layer for this origin to get a run off the ground. Um, so was this helpful for chat? Um, Obviously, this is a reasonable seed for raiding, right? I have three, I have two towns with trade goods quarantined away from a, a citadel. I'm still seeing um, noble armies come this way, but that's, that's whatever. That's not a big deal. Trying to find fights seems more important than the actual fights. Yeah, I mean, trying to find fights, trying to find fights that are profitable, right? Like, I have about 10 more days in this run before I need to be able to fight. I need to be able to fight this wagon in order to keep scaling, right? These wagons are worth almost between 2 and 3K, right? The small wagons are worth between 750 and about 1,250 gold, like... And the gear, the gear itself is actually better, right? So I need to be able to progress to these. There's also, I also need to be getting up into this area, right? Fighting, fighting militia, right? So I need to be around this town while I have 10-ish bros fighting the militia that come out of here to scale, to get the militia captains, to get, like, this is like 40 thugs because this spawns militia, this spawns militia, and the town will spawn militia. That's like 40 thugs worth of XP, and I know where it's at, right? I can just go get it. Um, so I, I will take this segment 
and get it on YouTube for the people who missed it. Um, this is the run that we're going to be playing the rest of the week, though. Like, we're going to take this one to completion. I like what we got going on here. This feels pretty good. Um, so next stream, we'll pick up from here um, and get rolling. And this is going to be a Katal team. So this is something that, like, I'm working on getting good at. So y'all get to kind of grow with me here. Um, but again, don't get wrapped around the axle about the builds. Um, the purpose of these first 20 days, the what you're doing on the strategic layer matters more than anything else. Um, I didn't even, I wasn't even monitoring our fight density like I normally do. And it's, it's day 20, it's day 20, we're at 23 fights. And most of them of relatively good value, right? So that said, um, I am going to call it here for the night. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, hey, all I ask is that you hit that follow button. That's enough for me. Um, and to the people who showed up, supported, uh, to the people who caught the, the Monolith run, we did uh, fight Monolith last stream. So if you missed it, check the VOD. Um, it was a great fight. I should probably pull it out as a highlight, but I haven't gotten there yet. Um, but we got it done. <laughs> so uh, that's why we're working on this now, guys. All right. Leaving the floor open for questions for about, I don't know, 10 seconds. Um, and then we'll we'll move on. And while I give you guys a chance to speak, I shall uh, look for somebody to raid. Well, Chad, it looks like I'm the the only the only uh, English streamer doing it. So um, I guess we're just going to call it here, guys. Thank you um, so much. I, I appreciate it. All right. Take care, everybody.